So, she's been washed, she's had two shampoos and conditioner and she's had some nice oil then. I've blow dried her straight and oh my god, I am so happy with the result. Can you see that lived in colour? Wow, she's lifted up really, really good. So this was a doll's head, so I had to leave it on for, you know, a good um, couple of hours. But can you just see that colour? It's it's come out amazing. So I'm just going to tilt her head back a little bit. So can you see that nice root melt all blended in? This is this has come out amazing. I'm so happy. And this is the bit that I love seeing. So remember me telling you, obviously, doing the before picture and then obviously after picture. So this is what I've done today. So I've only I've only done the back, so we can compare the back to the front. And ah, oh, this this just makes you so happy, doesn't it? You know. But um, yeah, I'm so pleased with that. So now I'm now going to bring the two front pieces. You can see it already. See how red that is. Look. Oh my god. Look at the difference. Let's spin around. Look at that. Look at the difference. Look. That was the bit that I was on about. Like that really strong band all the way through. And just look at the difference. Oh. <laughs> Compared to like, you know, that back bit what I've done to the two sides. So this was like her first application, you know, of the colour transformation. Look how light she's gone. So this was just doing like simple steps, simple tricks and stuff in my um, tutorials and look at the result. It is just, it's just amazing. Do you see what I mean? You didn't need to colour those ends because they're so light already. But with the low light, can you see, just like taking it through, it just makes, oh, it just gives it such a nice contrast. So this is why I didn't want all the low lights all the way right through to the bottom. Do you see what I mean? This this is what gives you the lived in look. And this is her first like colour service with me going, you know, colour transformation. And yeah, I am just so pleased with that. And that's it straight. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna um, curl a few pieces and yeah, we'll see the um, difference, but yeah. And the shine, see what I mean? Keeping the hair in good condition and stuff like that. Yeah, there's still a little bit of warm colour in, but it just goes in so well. So compared to obviously when she first come in, to that, to that is pretty good going on the first colour service. So this is what I say, always look after your client's hair, you know, it's so important. Look at the shine. And yeah, I'm just so happy with that. So right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, just curl a few pieces because it looks amazing straight, but it's gonna look so different when it's um, curly as well. Right, so turn me straighteners on. So like I said, I've um, used obviously oil and, you know, well, before I blow dried it and everything like that. And I've used like colour, um, heat protector, sorry. But look at that, see, it's, it's amazing. That is just, wow. Can you see all the colours going all together? I am happy with that. So, you know, obviously, start off with, you know, she's very, very warm, really vibrant. And to get it like that as well, that's, that's amazing. So it's nice and lived in. So on our next um, colour appointment uh, with me, she'll probably come in about four months time. <laughs> uh, I'll do the same process as what I've done in the tutorial, but it's lifted up quite light as well. So I'm really happy with that. And what I might do, I might just do a few more foils than what I've done today. Um, you know, just to get her up a little bit more lighter, but that is really good going for, you know, the first appointment as well. What a, what a change from that to that. You see, it's a lot more softer, it's a lot more lived in, but yeah, let's, um, let's give her a bit of a wave. 
Oh, my camera's in a bit of a weird angle. So yeah, let's uh, give her a bit of a wave at the back. So yeah, so I really hope that you've um, enjoyed my tutorial on the tips and tricks. And like I said, like obviously this was a colour um, correction. So obviously with um, any other clients that you want to get, a, you know, more uh, blonde and lived in, just do the same, same what I've shown you in the tutorial. But just obviously do more, more spacing all the way through. But yeah, just really, really happy with, with that result. So let's turn it down a bit. This is where she's going to be all wobbly now for me. <laughs> That's amazing. And the hair feels so, so soft. So yeah, just to recap on everything what I've done. So we done the root mount. So I started at the back first, took a section from the um, crown to the nape. Um, so I have my two um, sections at the back. And then I worked around the hairline. And then I showed you a great tip starting from the back, working towards the crown. Uh, we've done that and then came the the section afterwards, make sure we came all out. And then we um done our um, blonde pops of blonde. So with the balayage board and everything. So like I said, make sure you just with the weaving, do a fair size weave so you, you can see a you know, a difference in the hair. And um, yeah, so I didn't do the front because I'm so glad I didn't do the front because we can just now see the the difference is just incredible, absolutely incredible. So yeah, I've really, really enjoyed doing this colour for you. Um, like I said, I haven't done, I didn't want to do the front because I wanted to show you like the difference, but you know, um, but yeah, who knows? Who knows what I'm going to do on her next? But um She's looking really good. I'm really, really pleased. Any um, questions you may have with any of my um, tutorial videos and stuff, please message me. Um, you know, write them in the comments or or message the page. You know, like I said, this is this is a new page for me um, with my educate like doing education just showing tips and tricks and stuff. And yeah, I'm really, really enjoying that. <clears throat> Give her another bit of a curl there. The thing is, I haven't got, um, obviously the straighteners on too hot either. Cause one, it's obviously it's a doll's head. And two, I'm just thinking of the color that we've just put in. I don't wanna damage it or anything. As you can tell, I'm really, it's I'm so, so passionate on what I do and I just want the client's hair to be in such good condition, but with amazing color results as well. And showing you like how to get these amazing color results without pushing the hair too far. But you know, with simple tricks and that, you can achieve great color results without doing so so much to the hair and just keep doing these techniques each time and you'll see the massive difference in the hair each time that the client comes back it's looking so good so i'm just going to curl this section and then i'll show you it's looking so so good and like I said, like this, this was like red. So, you know, I used a really, really vibrant red on her before. So the lift that we got is incredible. But also the technique with doing the root mount and 
the low light technique, it really massively helps and it neutralizes so much of that color uh, that we want to get rid of without over processing the hair with lightener all the time, you know, because it's over the years, you know, um, you learn so much in that. And I remember like when we first sort of like started out like doing um, like color strips and that, you literally just like cleanse all the hair out and it was so, so much time doing it on the client's hair, but it didn't always feel in great condition looking back, do you know what I mean? Um, so doing these simple tricks is amazing and it just makes such a difference to the hair. This is looking so good. Yeah, so like I said, if you've got any um, questions or anything like that, um, please message me. Inquiring about any products that I've used, or if you want to, you know, know any more about obviously the tips and tricks that I've um, shown you, please, please message me. So, right. This is amazing. Look at that. So that's it straight, and then that's it, nice and curled, well, a bit of a wave. It's looking so, so good. So yeah, I'm just so pleased with that result. It's just been incredible, absolutely incredible. I'm just gonna dress it out a little bit. Look at that. So you can see all the different colours going through. So that's it. So right, I'm not gonna run um, film me all like doing all, you know, all the, the curling and that, so but um if you want me to do a separate video on like styling and that I will do. But yeah, this is purely just obviously to show you like the colour and everything. But yeah, so that's it, obviously, straight and curled. And look at the difference on that side, look, at the front. What a difference. It's a lot softer, and this has just been done in one, one, you know, session. So you think, like, your client comes back to you again and again, and you do that technique each time, it's gonna get lighter and it's gonna look more softer. But that is such an amazing result from bright red hair to that. See how soft it is. It's just amazing. So thank you so much. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial today. And yeah, like I said, if you've got any questions or anything, please message me. Okay, so thank you and take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye.